Hi, everybody. Welcome to HCA East Florida's Eat the Street That Go, presented by the Greater Miami Convention and Visitors Bureau. We are uh, right here with another show for you, Brenda yeah. Bassett, Jimmy Cephalo. And a reminder to you, you can listen to us Monday through, uh, excuse me, not Monday through Friday. I wish you could. Yes. It's just <laughs> Saturday, 9 morning. to 10 a.m., 610 WIOD. Of course, on... Uh, Worldwide on iHeartRadio mm -hmm. and on 610, and you can find us on the Beach Channel. Yes, you can. And um, on all of the social media. Yeah, Facebook, uh, it's it's easy as well as uh, Instagram and all the things. Eat the shrimp that goes, which you got to remember. We're pleased to be joined by Chef Richard Wang, a wonderful restaurant, Cafe Sensei. Uh, it's 1200 East Las Vegas Boulevard in Fort Lauderdale. Welcome to the show. Thank Welcome. You, and the type of cuisine we're talking about. What type of cuisine? We kind of bring the Pan-Asian cuisine coming in, also mixed with the South Florida Latin flair. Into oh, it. oh, it's neat. a really neat combination. And yes, I said, how long yes. have you been open? Uh, we've been open since we take it over seven months now. Uh, we get into getting very, very busy. Uh, right. Every weekend it's kind of very two, three hundred people come into it. And we're going to be That's joined so by great. one of your mixologists coming up in a few minutes, too. Yes. I understand there's some great cocktails, yes. lots of sake and wonderful things. Yes. This is one of the most fun things about Cafe Sensei. You can actually, they're right there on the Himishi Canal. Yeah. So you can actually go on a gondola ride and, and have your dinner. Correct. I and love so, that idea. Yeah, now, yeah. Is, do you have to reserve that ahead of time? Uh, pretty much would. ahead of the time. You yeah. have to make a reservation for right. it. Right. Uh, yeah. They're open, uh, Cafe Sensei, Monday, 4 to 10.30. And then Tuesday uh, and Wednesday, 11.30 to 10.30 p.m. Thursday and through Saturday, 11.30 to 11.30. And Sunday, 11.30 to 10.30. So lots of opportunities. But that sounds like one of the most fun things I've ever I know. Imagined. Doesn't yeah. that sound great? Oh, my goodness. Uh, what are you cooking for us today? Uh, today, we're just giving a little bit of cooking with uh, basic uh, 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 Thai cuisine, uh, Pad Thai style. Okay. Okay. So uh, let me go ahead. Yeah, please. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, we'll just bit. ask you questions as you go. Sure. A couple of other fun things. Uh, they've got... Uh, uh, Monthly sake tastings. We'll talk about that in our next segment for yes. in, in just yes. a second. I didn't realize there were so many different sakis. Oh, yeah. oh so sake. many, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. So now, many. do you prefer warm sake or cold sake? I prefer cold sake myself, do you? personally. Oh. Yeah, right. yeah. Uh, the cold sake is much better uh, because the ferment is only like uh, once a year they right. make it. Right. Only in the cold winter season only. The uh, rest of the season, they don't do anything to it. And we just had to bring the... In, in especially in the United States, the United States only bring the like uh, probably nine hundred kind of a sake wow. only. But right. there's a only the best representable sake is in the market. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, good. Well, again, it's Cafe Sensei. So, <laughs> and you know what? Don't be afraid to try a sake with your dinner too. Mm -hmm. It goes yeah. so wonderfully well with Asian food. And this looks absolutely delicious. What do you put in there, Chef? Uh, first of all, we put a little bit of marinated chicken for yeah, it outside, right. and in the meantime. Let's put a little bit, uh, crack a little bit piece of egg. Now he is cooking with chopsticks, right. which I think is really, really great and crispy. And I love everything with an egg. He just put an egg into that pan. <laughs> For those he of does. you who are, who are listening <laughs> on WID and iHeartRadio worldwide, uh, he just cracked an egg into it, and I just, yeah. anything with an egg anything just works for me. Anything you love, oh, yeah, gotcha. I know. <laughs> now, the egg thickens things up a little bit, too. Add some protein to it, but thickens yeah. things up, right? Yeah, we add a little bit of scallion. Scallion? Yeah, regular scallion, so for it, give it like a nice toast. Uh, chef, is it, what's the name of this dish? What do you call this? Uh, it's called pad thai. Oh, it's chicken. a pad thai. Yeah, okay. pad thai, yeah, pad thai. Yeah. Uh, but, you, but you utilize uh, all different types of Pan-Asian flavors, right? Yes, we Korean, do. this and that, and... Yeah, that's the things. Uh, my personal, I was traveling different places, uh, living in Thailand for two years, and living in Puerto Rico four years, and living in the South, uh, Atlanta four years. Hmm. Wow. So carry a little bit of an accent. I right. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Korean part, what I, what I love is, Brenda, instead of bringing you uh, bread to the table at the beginning, yeah. they bring you kimchi popcorn. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Correct. How do you do that? <laughs> well, we basically, you know, just give a little bit of customer a little bit of Different tastes before they start a meal. So right. it's popcorn with some kimchi tossed in it. And then we give the kimchi sauce, so toss it with the butter, and then give you add it to it. So uh, give See, it a little that's toast. That's fun, isn't it? With some different sakis that with you With sakis at the table? I can't yeah. imagine that. God bless America, that, that sounds, sounds absolutely wonderful. <laughs> sounds you know what I mean? <laughs> this is exactly what we should be doing. Right. Now, the, the, what you putting in there now, Chef? Uh, this is a pad thai sauce. Basically, have an ingredient, sure, uh, the... Uh, thai spice and right. also a little bit of paprika. Oh, mm. well, I've got to go. I've got to go to Cafe Sensei just for this dish I alone. I, I'm sure the rest <laughs> of it's going to be great. Yeah, sitting on the gondola on the on the Himishi <laughs> Canal and oh yeah, that's enjoying that. Very popular also. And, some in some the meal. and I think I also uh, do the 
tour, I believe the captain told me before. There's a several uh, couples uh, proposing there. Oh, oh I bet. On a, on nice. tour. Now that's yeah. a great idea, isn't it? Yeah. To propose on the canal yeah. and a gondola, yeah. having this wonderful uh, meal. I think that's a great idea too. Wow, pad thai, uh, and and uh, we're going to be joined by mixologist uh, Jessica Allen in a few minutes. She's going to prepare a couple of cocktails, yes. uh, Asian fashion, and lychee teeny, a lychee teeny. That sounds great too. <laughs> I love she brought lychee. some sakis in yeah. as well, so we've got all that going for us. If you want to learn more about uh, a cafe sensei. It's spelled S E N S E I. All right, yeah. sensei. Um, right there on 1200 East Los Olas, Los Olas Boulevard in Fort Lauderdale. They're open for lunch and dinner uh, Tuesday through Sunday, Monday for dinner only, 4 to 10:30 p.m. So a wonderful, uh, a wonderful spot. Boy, does it sound great. I know. Chef, you were born in Taiwan. Is that correct? Yes, myself. I was born in Taiwan. I came here since I was 24. Right. Yeah. And, and you've you, you've, you've really uh, been all over the place. I, I try, well, <laughs> I try, I try. Some of the Latin fusion that probably came into your cooking, you actually managed some uh, resorts in the Puerto Rico as well. El Conquistador, yes, uh, you were there. For, yeah, I was there. Uh, worked for the, you remember uh, the El Conquistador? And then uh, that's that the, how wow. I started. Wow. That's how I started. Wow, that looks absolutely doesn't, wonderful. Doesn't doesn't that look, and I love those bows. Okay. It's absolutely gorgeous. They, oh, they what a great thing to do. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you yeah. know, this, first of all, my fa I think my favorite cuisine is, is Pan-Asian. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I'm so glad you found it. Besides the Korean flavor you have, the Thai flavor, mm -hmm. what are you, some Chinese flavors, I would imagine? Yes, we have a kind of uh, mix some of uh, a dim sum flavor, mm -hmm. put into it the dishes. So basically we try to get it a little bit uh, uh, Asian tapas kind of feeling to it. Right. But also have a large dish also we combine. Wow. Yeah, so we give a lot of variety of choices for the customers. Man. Um, it, it, what I love about it, it, this is what it says. It, uh, no, Richard is now joined the forces with Kense, uh, Casa Sensei, uh, Sensei in uh, Fort Lauderdale, where East meets South, which normally you don't hear it that way, but it's a great explanation. Do you mind if Brenda tries that? Because sure. she's going to just pop her brain off because it, it looks about as great as can be. Uh, gonna, uh, i, I got to use a fork. you got to use a fork? Uh, oh, yeah, Brenda. Air, it'll, it'll just all like... Yeah, you want yeah. us to tie it together with a little rubber band? It's yeah, a lot easier I do for that. you, right? I, 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 that's, the, use my that's, <laughs> that's what I, I always ask them to do for, for me. The I'm kiddies? sorry. Yeah, for they the, don't teach us how to do this in Kentucky. I'm sorry. It's just a lot of Asian fusion in Kentucky, I guess, Chef. <laughs> What's the next dish you're going to make for us? Uh, we're going to make a little bit of uh, sushi with a taco. So what we do is we have a basic uh, fresh corn fried cockerel here. Okay. And then Hold up on that, Chef. We're going to do that in just oh, a yeah, minute. We're also going to bring in Jessica sure. in just a minute. She's got yeah. some great cocktails to yeah. make. Sure. Talk about the, the, uh, the uh, uh, tastings for, um, for sake and all those kind of wonderful things. And some Japanese um, uh, whiskeys as well, which is... Oh, yeah. You know, it's oh. the big hot thing in America too. Yes. I think yes. it is. Yeah. Um, tell us about your background. So, so you were in you were in Puerto Rico. You were in in, in Taiwan. Where else were you? Where else were you cooking? Uh, I was did two years in Bangkok. That's how I met my wife. Aww. Yeah, I met my wife, and then I brought her here. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, y'all been on this the, crazy ride ever since. Right? Uh, yeah, yes. you know, he's from the very Pan Asian style all the way to the Puerto Rico. Then it's totally different. Right. You know. The, not being very, very passionate for it. Right. The relationship is very well, you know, with the friends, amiga, amigo, it's very well. Where, where, where the Latin, uh, give me one of the Latin dishes that you put there, or is it just kind of mixed in uh, with we the We have a, some of the dishes we use the guacamole, the lobster guac, and then we use the guacamole, but the grill of the uh, cold water lobster, we kind of grill a little bit, and we can make a skewer, but we make it with the uh, 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 chip on the side also, and uh, either in the uh, uh, basic traditional, Mexican style guacamole store. Uh -huh. yeah. The other great, you know, the, the other neat thing about Cafe Sensei is yeah. that what they do is on um, Casa Sensei, excuse me, uh, when they bring you the check, yeah. they bring you cotton candy at the end of the night. <gasps> Really? Yeah, this is kind of your favorite place in the world now. Yeah. Right? yeah. She, all the things that so she loves. The whole night oh, night <laughs> oh my all goodness the, gracious. A gondola ride with cotton gondola, candy. I mean, does it, it get any got, better than that? And some Pan Asian food is everything that Brenda would ever want in her life. All right, we're going to come back in just a couple of minutes because uh, Jessica is here, uh, their mixologist, and she's got some great things. And it looks absolutely delicious, yeah, really including good. some wonderful sakis and a couple of great cocktails that she's making. Again, it's Casa Sensei. And it's right there at 1200 East Los Angeles Boulevard in Fort Lauderdale. We're going to be back with more right after this uh, here on Eat This, Drink That, Go. Yo. Stay tuned. You're going to love this next dish, too. Yeah.